Yo, yo, yo. What is up, guys? Nick Nakai here, Let's Drift Media. Thank you guys for coming back to the channel. Hope everyone's doing great. I uh, just want to do a quick little video of things you need to basically paint your car. I went to Harbor Freight the other day, spent a lot of money. Well, not too much money, but just bought pretty much everything I need because before I was borrowing my friend's air compressor and hose. I got hella hose. And then my paint guns, I didn't clean them out, so I ended up having to buy another one. So I figured I can kind of give you guys an idea of tools and stuff you're gonna have to buy if you're planning on painting your car. So, got an air compressor, it's outside, I'll show you. Got this 50 foot Diablo hose. This one was pretty nice because it's a lot more lightweight than like the standard hose they sell. This hose I believe was $27.99. And the rest of the stuff was basically a couple bucks, but tape measure, had a tape measure, but I keep losing it. So I keep this package on here so I always know where it's at. Um, air fittings and couplings. You're gonna have to buy these because these do not come with the compressor or the line or the tools. So don't forget about that. Um, air chuck, just bought this, just self have since I finally have a compressor. Uh, I bought rivets and a rivet gun. I guess you don't really need this if you're going to be painting your car, but this is going to be for my overfenders to attach it to the body. So I'll try that out. Um, inline dryer. So this is kind of like a water separator to make sure you don't get uh, water from the air compressor into your tools you're using, to any of your air tools. So recommend that because these uh, air compressors kind of tend to have a lot of water buildup. You'll see when you go to drain them. And then the air gun. This is just like the cheapy, like $20 air gun, but it comes with a pressure regulator. You do need that, so I'd recommend just getting the one with at least the regulator. But this one worked fine last time. Should do it, uh, the trick again. You should be able to reuse this. You just gotta run paint thinner through them though, just to make sure you get the old paint out. And that's what I did not do last time. Uh, masking tape, me masking off the windows and stuff. Probably use some newspapers, so. Should do the trick. And yeah, that's basically it. With the compressor, total spent 323 bucks. I did buy some other stuff that you don't really need, like those rivets, and then I bought some zip ties and some shop rags just to have around the house. But yeah, that's pretty much all you're gonna need. I mean, sandpaper, of course. If you're gonna be sanding it down and then not including the paint itself so keep that in mind so let's go check out the compressor see what it do a well, body kit um haven't done shit still sitting here i did paint the fenders you can see these now ready for paint um i'm gonna have to sand it down again though i didn't realize the paint was cracking I still sprayed it. I'm gonna have to sand that down. The over fenders, I was gonna primer them, but I guess I didn't do a good job sanding them, so I still need to sand those a little bit further down. But these should look pretty sick. Since they are used, they already have the holes, so I'll be able to mount them up really nice. You won't be able to see any of this damage. That is pretty messed up. I don't know if you guys can tell on the camera. But this is the air compressor I got. This one I think is pretty new. This McGraw 20 gallon. I haven't seen this one before. I just saw like the red ones and the black uh, central pneumatic brand. But here's the specs so you guys can kind of see. And here's the air compressor. Actually looks pretty nice for like a Harbor Freight compressor. I don't think it really looks like a cheapy compressor. A lot of the reviews said it was like really quiet and I can't believe how quiet it is, but they're full of shit. This thing's just as loud as like any other compressor. So what I plan on doing is putting it in the closet in there. So that way maybe the noise won't be as bad, but we'll see how that works out. Uh, yeah. 
This is something I've been needing at home just for not only for painting, it'll be nice to have it for like my air tools and stuff if I ever bring them home from work. And yeah. So as far as the compressor, that's a quick little rundown. If you guys want to see more of it, uh, maybe I could do like a little video review on it so I can show you like, I guess just the compressor features and stuff, uh, how it is in action, but I haven't actually got to use it yet. I just turned it on just to see how loud it was and make sure it builds pressure, but the reviews look pretty good. So sounds pretty promising. So that's just a quick little Harbor Freight haul of things you I recommend buying if you're gonna be painting your car yourself at home. Uh, it's not that much, like I said, probably like around 300 bucks in just tools and equipment and stuff. Then you just gotta buy the paint and call it a day. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought about this quick little video. Catch you guys next time.